uh, minutes from the previous meeting, the April 10th meeting. I think everyone has copied that in front of them. Mm -hmm. general concern um, is I didn't know how to account for our vote when we split the stabilization, whether we have to re-vote it as two votes or maybe we can say it's one vote the way we, because I don't have a 18 budget requested number in it. I'm not sure. Would that be 500,000? It was requested, but the one that we have. So that would be a modification. Yeah. So we just split the 500,000. Correct. I'll make that change in a minute. Mm -hmm. Okay. It looks okay to me the way it is, but that's. <clears throat> so welcome to change it if you so desire. I don't know what the selectman did. Selectman voted the 500,000. Yeah. Pardon? Capital they were fine if it was split half and half. Then yeah. you're going to make the motion on the floor. Sure. Okay. That's a <clears throat> that's a warrant. An it'll be it'll warrant. be in the motion. Correct. Right. 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 Thank you. <clears throat> so with that said, I'll move the minutes for April tenth. With that change. Uh, second. second. It's moved. And seconded. All those in favor. Aye. 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 Opposed. It's unanimous. Um, Brenda. Yes. What else do we have that we need to take a look at? Well, or I, I, I think if, if you want to vote on um, the snow and ice overage, it's, it'll probably change before the end of the week because we're supposed to get another snowstorm. Um, what? If you, yeah. yes. What? Yeah. Day after tomorrow. You said the word. Well, three to four I know. <laughs> Maybe Thursday? if I say it enough times, it won't happen. <laughs> right. Thursday into Friday. <laughs> Put the ice scraper back in your car. Yeah. Yeah, it's there. Huh? Took them out. <laughs> um, so if you want to vote a floating amount for that, or if you want to wait till next week, um, hopefully I'll have a, a, a more definite figure. Well, I'm going to have to by, by next week. Well, right now the requested is 68916, and that, I assume it are the numbers that you have. Yes, that, that includes uh, <coughs> some extra salt that Kevin bought that I don't even have an invoice for yet. He he took a gander at the price, and then um, it includes uh, the amount that we paid to Gilmore uh, yesterday for snow plowing. So. <coughs> okay. 681. 68916. Oh yeah, yeah. Okay, I got it. It's here. It's on the back page. Yep. Right above John Deere tractor. So we'll hold off until next week. If you want to do it that way, that's fine. Um, you guys mind meeting next Tuesday? Okay. So we'll hold off until next Tuesday. Okay. Anything else? I don't think so. I think that was it. I that you've voted everything else. Mm -hmm. So, is there anything in here that I had any questions on? I thought there might be one. I guess that's it. <clears throat> anything else? As far as the budget goes, as far as the warrants go. As far as the, the uh, warrant articles or the omnibus, I think you've covered it all. So. Okay. There were. At least I'm not aware of anything else. <laughs> not that I know of. <laughs> I, I just brought out some actually revenue information as much as anything else, and I just wanted to go over it with everyone. Mm -hmm. The first one is. This is the 2019 cherry sheet estimates. Mm -hmm. And uh, you've got the uh, 2018 estimate, and I believe that was, is that the actual? 2018 is actual. Actual, mm -hmm. okay. So the first 2019 number was the governor's budget. 
which came out two or three weeks ago? No. Yes. Oh, yeah, or a month or two ago. No. Okay. And the next one is, is the house, which is the most current one that we have. Typically, what we've done in the past, and it doesn't we don't necessarily have to continue to do it because they don't really change that much. Uh, we've taken the governor's when he gets it, mm -hmm. and then we amend it with the House. And then when the Senate does theirs, if we're still in session and haven't reached town meeting, we'll take that one. But the probability is that this is the last change that we'll see in this before we go to town meeting. Um, but I did want, this is exactly, this is what's on that, the House proposal. <clears throat> And what I wanted to do is just kind of go down through it quickly so that you can see which, what it is that we actually have to use with the budget. And I put plus signs mm -hmm. beside those items that mm -hmm. you know, we, can, we can use and minus signs against those items that we can't use. In other words, school choice receiving tuition to school, the school committee school. has the authority to spend that, and they're the only ones that have authority. Mm -hmm. So that one million five hundred eighty-nine thousand three hundred forty dollars, you need to back out the four hundred seventy-nine thousand. So it brings it down to one million one hundred thousand, roughly. Right. On the second group, general government, the only thing in there that uh, well, the only thing in there that we can't spend library. is the seven thousand dollars that goes to the library. The library makes the decision on that spending mm -hmm. entirely. On the back page, these are the offset or state charges for state and county charges. So all of these need to be backed up at 258000 And I didn't come up. Is that the? Yeah. So the net is $1,457,213. That's what we actually <coughs> have in state aid to work our budget with. Uh, it is a million one hundred thousand that we don't have access to. And that's based on the <coughs> house or the mm -hmm. that's that's the house. I'm sorry, it's not so the governor's that. governor's budget was about uh, twenty one thousand dollars less. Yeah. Um, more conservative. It's usually the one we we stick with until until we have the actual numbers. Yeah, I was curious when I received this email from Mass Municipal. It says House Budget Committee offers forty one million billion dollars more in FY nineteen. Mm -hmm. State budget takes key investments in municipal and school aid. Then it talks about all these increases. I don't, I don't see any increases. So you don't yeah, see the only thing that's changed for us is the uh, charter school. Yeah, which goes down. For the most part. Right. Yeah, both the, uh, both the uh, assessment and the income. Yeah. yeah. So is that because we're an average community, a median community, that we fall in the... Uh, no, no increase, no decrease area zone? Pretty much. I don't know. I don't think anybody gets I, much of an increase when you come right down. Well, some. They're talking. Uh, 37 million in unrestricted. Yeah. But that, you know. General government aid, 37 Probably doesn't go very far. Dollars. So we have. 350. We have six or seven million people. Right. Uh, between five and six dollars a person. So if we got the average, we would increase by about $3,000. Right. I thought Chapter 90 went from 20 to $30 a student also. The Chapter 70, yeah. <coughs> yeah. Um, so that should have been a significant increase. That's a 50% well, increase. Well, the, um, okay. I, I don't, I, I understand I don't know, I Chapter understand 70 why. enough to be dangerous with it. <laughs> no, I mean, I, don't, I know nothing about it. Yeah. yeah. But when I, I read this, I said, oh, I was pretty pleased. Yeah. And well, then you saw our numbers, and you're like, dollars in, in school aid. But we got cut in other places. Right. I mean, the school, charter school is killing us. <clears throat> but no municipal additional funds. Nine thousand dollars of additional. 
chapter 7. <coughs> yeah. But despite what, okay. despite what everybody says, I haven't seen it. And if you go back and you look over a 10-year period, it doesn't change much. Right. I doubt that it changes 1% a year, increases. And in fact, it's done one of these things. Where it's mm -hmm. up the only real, I mean, the only real change that could come would be the fair share tax, but if sales tax gets passed as well, that gets eaten up as well. So, there, and even, I, I just don't see that much. They were talking about $2 billion coming into education and transportation if that passed and nothing happens with your sales tax, but that gets so watered down across the state mm -hmm. too that you wind up with hardly anything. I mean. Yeah. Um, the regional transportation was another that was supposed to increase. Right. And that's the same. It is, yeah, and, well. And that's the saving one. the governor's budget, and there's a decrease from FY18 by a significant number. Mm-hmm, it is. I mean, uh, is this just somebody's <laughs> Good PR, <coughs> whatever. Good PR. Uh, I think yes. I, I could be wrong. It seems to me that uh, the, the trans. Let's see. We, we're not getting any change in school transportation. No. Uh, Frontier gets school transportation. And why we don't get school transportation, I don't know. We have gotten school transportation a couple times in the past, and I don't, I but, don't know what triggers that. Yeah. Uh, and it's usually not in their in the cherry sheet budget. It's hmm. something that usually comes. They only they only added a million dollars for regional school transportation, right. so nothing for municipal schools. Correct. I, I think I. I'm not amazing. sure how many have ever looked at this <coughs> tax levy calculation. Oh, Bruce, you can go to sleep on this one. But, uh, it gives you an idea. We start starting in the tax levy calculation for 2015. It's there. And uh, Brent, I'm going to let you explain this, <coughs> if you would. Uh, the tax levy? Yeah. Um, well, so your your tax <coughs> levy um, from year to year, the only thing that it can change by is is uh, the two and a half percent, plus any new growth that you have, mm -hmm. and any debt exclusion that that you've uh, voted in. Um, I know in fiscal in fiscal 2015, I think it was up like 10 percent. But the reason it was up so high was because that was the first year that we were paying. Um, uh, debt and interest on the garage. Uh, on, the garage. on the garage, yes. Mm -hmm. And we had a double double interest payment that year. We yeah. did, yeah. we did. So, um, because it was 18 months um, before we had to start paying on it. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> so, in fiscal 16, it looks pretty good because our our uh, debt exclusion costs had gone down. But you can you can also see the or what I'd like to point out is you look at the total levy limit current year, which is about halfway down mm -hmm. the column. That number gets plugged into from FY15. It gets plugged into the levy limit prior year for FY16, and then we right. go again two and a half percent any new growth that levy limit. And then new growth. And these numbers, I believe these numbers for 15, 16, 17, uh, and 18 are actual. Well, not 18. Do we have 18 yet? Those are actual numbers. Those are actual 18 numbers? 171. Actual numbers? Correct. And then the debt exclusions. 2016, there was a significant debt exclusion decline. Mm -hmm. Again, it was that, that 18 months of interest that we paid in 2015. Yep. Uh, a $20,000 decline 
in 2017. And then in, in 18, we had the new the school roof coming mm -hmm. in at 100,000. Right. I think it was $100,000. Correct. Correct. Yep. Um, and excess capacity, uh, Bruce, Brenda, you want to explain what excess capacity is? Uh, Bruce, you, you might be better versed to <coughs> do that for me. Who put you on the spot? <laughs> well, that basically is the difference between um, what is levied and what could be levied. Right. Correct, yeah. Right. And uh, that's a good explanation. It was not necessary to, to levy it because it was not necessary to balance the budget. Problem, so, the problem with that is, is without levying to the max, you lose that forever. Mm -hmm. Yes, that's exactly you know, right. So you don't have a chance to catch up with that. The other side of the coin is, you know, that you look at all these increases, and they look small, but they, you know, they're compounded on top of the nine percent initially. Mm -hmm. So it's so it's so it's only two percent of the increase of ten, uh, on top of the ten percent that was the right. year before. Right. Right. So mm, you got to look at. You know, that's right. So it it. The numbers are fine if you go by the 10 percent, but if you go by the previous year, and that's where we have to be careful in the future because of some serious capital improvements and infrastructure improvements that need to be done, because that's going to change dramatically. Yes, it is. Yep. And then in FY 2019, the starting point's fine, two and a half percent's fine. We won't know what new growth is for 2019 until end of October. Um, so I just plugged in. Uh, I I did an 80 percent of the lowest new growth figure that we've had in the last five years. Okay. Uh, to, to be safe. To be safe, but not be uh, too low. Um, just to have something in there because you know it's there's going to be some new growth. How much? Uh, and part of that is, is I know most of the years I was there, for the seven years I was there, and keeping in touch with Karen, um, the majority of new growth has been the utilities, has not been anything else. And, and, it, and it was in fiscal 18 as well, and from what Karen was telling me tonight, it sounds like they, are, they aren't even online with what, what right. that and new the, growth And the other problem with that is, is most of the utility growth has been um, short depreciation um, equipment, which means, of course, that uh, that needs to be made made up in the tax base after that's been depreciated because you're av av um, adding a 2.5% on your previous year tax. So as that depreciates, you're adding that back onto the property tax. And a lot of it is five years or less, which I think Brenda can ver verify on that uh, utility equipment. It's not long-term stuff. Right. It's being depreciated over 10 or 20 years where you can utilize some of that. When you say utility, can you explain that a little bit? Just like, uh, well, that would include the uh, uh, Eversource, uh, I see. Verizon, uh, yep. the telecom companies. What if they put in new infrastructure or whatever? Yeah, okay. yeah. And, gotcha. and, uh, uh, and most of their stuff is electronic. Uh, the power company's doing a lot of hard stuff, but there's uh, a lot of the stuff is uh, electronic based, which has a very short depreciation period. Absolutely, and yeah. that's why that's why this is it goes away. These numbers okay. sound good, but they d disappear very fast. Right, right. <laughs> so basically, if we had new growth of hundred, just say a hundred thousand dollars, and it was depreciated over, and we had a tax rate of. Sixteen dollars, which is about what it is now. Yeah, fifty-nine <laughs> five. Yeah. So for every thousand dollars, we're going to pick up roughly sixteen. You got a hundred times sixteen, sixteen hundred dollars. <throat> and then through depreciation, the five five years, that sixteen hundred dollars in actual cash that comes in goes away right. at the rate of about three hundred and twenty bucks a year. Right. So at the end of the year, that is gone. But the tax dollars that we charged back the very beginning, the first year, stays. Right. And that's in this, I see your tax right, so levy. Yeah. And that's, so getting, adding, that's, getting, that's where Bruce said you're adding yeah, right. to the yeah. tax. But that I is, wanted to make sure that everybody understood that. So, yeah, good, uh, good point. So that's getting added onto the tax rate to, to, <coughs> to 
and there's no maintain a tax fund. So the, the no, tax rate, no such thing as negative new growth. So. That's right. Mm -hmm. Right. Right. So that tax rate, the reason mm -hmm. last year's tax rate went up, uh, was it 30%, 3%, 4%, 3%? 4.5%. 4.5%. Mm -hmm. So, and, and the budget did not go up anywhere near 4.5%. So you're eating up that depreciation. So this is part of it. <coughs> the other, I'm not sure what all the other pieces are. We have a big hunk with loss, loss of state aid. We've, well. That has to be made up. State aid, where? And some of the, uh, what we have, what we had from the previous year, what was cut back uh, last year. That gets made up in uh, in the tax levy. Okay. Well, if, yeah, if, yeah. Now, if so you look, if you look at what we got in fiscal year 15 for Cherry Sheet net revenue, was higher than what we've gotten in any year since. Right, and that all goes to the levy. Yeah, exactly. As you, and you're, uh, I don't have the, uh, I've got cherry sheet information, but I didn't, I don't have it. No, the the revenue point. detail? Yeah, the back yeah. of the revenue, what happened? So. But you've only got what, three years there? Yeah. Uh, yeah, okay. 15, 16, okay. 17, 18, so okay. four, four years, plus the current projections so new growth is based on what period of time I don't 19. know 19 one year well, from it, when is it one year okay one year from it's, when no it's snapshot it's, it's, it's your January 1 it's your Jan yeah January 1 to the previous previous 12, 12 months. oh okay what is that's, the that's why on new growth it, so it's previous 12 months, but we won't know until October? That's usually about the time that so DOR uh, gets that figure to, um, you know, the assessors, there's all these pieces to the puzzle. Yeah. The assessors do things, DOR does things, and then they come up with a new growth figure. So 10 month period, we have to wait. Until it's certified pretty much. Well, yeah. until, until we're getting ready to do the recap. That's yeah. Per, per, the answer to your question, personal property, machinery. Yeah. Oh, that's personal. Property. Well, no, no, that new, new, no. The new growth includes includes uh, real that. property. But what I was saying is, the majority of it, the last several years, have been personal property. It's not like and there's a bunch of new homes. Okay. okay, because we haven't had any. You know, we've had a new home here, a new home there, but mm -hmm. it's been very sporadic. Yeah. The majority of it has been personal property. Right. In all reality, real, real property uh, depreciates uh, annually too, but at a much slower rate. Any other questions on that? I did. Well, toss, toss. well no, the number we were using, one million four fifty-seven. Is this a new number on the summary sheet? No. No, uh, stick with a conservative number. We stick with okay. the governor's budget until we know what it is in the recap. Yeah. And the one million four fifty seven is is what we would get if the house, house meets. budget was the final budget. Correct. Okay. But we know that's so there's about one million four thirty six is what we're right. using. Right. So you look, you're looking at tw only twenty thousand dollar increase. Correct. Well, that's just that's from the governor's budget. So, to right. House understood. Budget. Understood. Yeah, yeah. I thought it was <coughs> the other way around. I thought we had a decrease in the house budget versus the governor's budget. Yeah. No, it's an increase, a little bit. They they all try to outdo each other, but not by very much. But if it, yeah, I guess you yeah, I see. Or um, they, if you if you take when you add the total, when I right, take away in the other. That's and that's right. <coughs> And then you'd be I'm with you now. Oh, I see what you mean. Your charges. Yeah. It's still an increase. Okay. Yeah. All right. And uh, John, you you gave us a sent an email with the local receipts. Yeah, and then somebody <coughs> gave us the rent so deducting. Right. That's mm -hmm. yeah. That information. Is, all the information is in the assessment. <coughs> yeah, I got you. Or all of this well, we were discussing it last yeah. meeting. Right. Yeah. We didn't have the number. That's the only reason I said it out. So these are 
these numbers on this are the actual numbers that we got. But we don't get, we don't find out what these are until the recap process in September, October, November. So typically what we've done is we, we take an average and then we reduce it by 20%, 25%? 20% usually, 15 to 20%. And the numbers at the very bottom are my fooling around with, with a linear regression calculation, uh, <clears throat> which, if, which you, if you didn't take Algebra 2 in the last 15 years, you probably have the slightest idea what I'm talking about. Um, <laughs> let's change the Common Core now. So you, you're even <laughs> it, old. It is common. It is part of the Common Core. <laughs> uh, but yes. it wasn't until you... I've got, a, I've got a TI-83 sitting out in front. If you don't have a TI-83 or the equivalent, you're, right. you're, you're not going to do it, believe me. Even though it's a pretty simple calculation, yeah. go ahead, make that calculation, do all that adding, subtracting, multiplying, dividing. No. Uh, so the tax rate is based on pretty much one-year-old data. Yeah. Close, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, because that's your tax... Your tax year, um, your well, tax least, year, maybe more than that. Well, almost well, ten your, months anyway. 10 your months new growth, old. your new growth actually for um, real property, Deerfield accepted a June 30 date, so you okay. can pick up some uh, if you have a building boom yep. type of situation. Yep. But that's not for land or anything else. Right. That is only for. Uh, an increase in construction. In January, a house was half built, and uh, June 25th, it was fully built. Uh, they, you know, gotcha. they took that option for uh, the June 30th uh, increase on that. But the majority of it is based on a January 1st for the previous 12 months. Yep. So, uh, you know. This one you can throw out if you'd like because it's cut or not. Any questions on anything that we've gone over so far? <coughs> Has it been, been of any help to anybody? Yes. Just get a little better mm -hmm. understanding yes, of what the... Absolutely. Why do licenses and permits go up so much? <coughs> this year, 2017. Yeah, no, wait a minute. Days. No, that looks like looks like 2016 was low, so it could carry over to 2017. Actually, 2015 was was high, and 2017 yeah. were high. It seems to be the lag. I, I should have said fees. Why do fees so, go up so much? Okay. No, those are actually licenses and permits are the ones that really went up. Well, both of them did, but the reason why is your licenses and permits. I'm sorry, uh, Skip. Did you want us to talk to that? No, nope. you're going to do fees. Just jump right in. <laughs> No, go ahead. So your licenses and permits, um, the reason, part of the reason they fluctuate from year to year is because sometimes Deerfield Academy has a big project, sometimes they don't. So that's, that's, that's usually two hundred to 300000 each time they do. But in 2017, we closed the revolving fund for plumbing, gas, and wire and took all of that into the general fund. So now the fees that we collect for plumbing, gas, and wire inspections is all in the general fund, but then, then so are all of the expenditures for our, um, our inspectors and uh, the associated costs for that. That's in your inspections uh, department. And uh, that was revolving funds before, wasn't it? Correct. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. And fees. Um, that was, a, I believe the fees was a special revenue fund. We closed in fiscal year 16, so starting in fiscal year 17, we started collecting the money for um, uh, Comcast to support the uh, FCAP budget, um, our, our TV. Um, that came into the general fund in fiscal year 17, and that's, that runs about 80-some thousand. Um, so that is in fiscal 17 and beyond. 
Um, but then again, all of the expenditures, our cost to FCAT is now in our contracted services. I think we've been through this before. Mm -hmm. What is FCAT on the budget sheet? On it's in your contracted page. services. Contracted services. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, first page, one five nine five four ten. About a little more oh, than yeah, halfway okay. down. Yeah. Yep. Thank you. Sure. Any other questions on this? Mm -hmm. I was I was going to bottom line. Well, it's going to look yeah, kind of look before we get to the bottom line at the uh, at revenues, and uh, <coughs> so we've got revenue details, which is the second sheet, and it's a page and a half or two pages of revenue <coughs> details. And uh, the first piece is uh, property taxes, and they're right off this tax levy calculation, mm -hmm. I think, aren't mm -hmm. they? Well, it looks like it. Uh, yep. And then you've got state and local, state and county government, the cherry sheet, local aid, so-called. Uh, and the thing to look at the, there is the last item on there where it says net. That's the amount of money that uh, that we actually have to spend into the general fund. Budget. Into the general Correct. fund, or, or or into into the budget process that we can use in the budget process. So if you go back, for example, to FY15, we had one and a half million dollars, and it has been less than that ever since. <coughs> One of the items that we do get hit with, it's not, it's not an enormous sum of money, uh, but it's, it can be substantial. Charter school sending tuition. Mm -hmm. That's in addition to whatever we budget. So when we budget for, as we have in the past, for Vo uh, Smith Volk, that's not showing up here. That's, that's right. a budget line item. Right. This is what the state says, well, one of your kids goes to the state charter school, and here's what it costs to send the, the youngster there, and we're taking that right off your... And that's, that's one of the numbers that does or can change, mm -hmm. even from what, mm -hmm. what their final budget is. It might be different because they base it on what actually is happening in the town of Deerfield. So if we were, if they were to accept the house budget, which shows eighty thousand for charter school sending tuition, where we show the governor's budget of one fourteen or one hundred fifteen thousand dollars, right? There's thirty five thousand dollars difference, which will increase our budget. In in this on the uh, on the cherry sheets, uh, ex except that the reimbursement. Uh, the, the charter way. school reimbursement also changed, uh, so the net was fifteen thousand. There, fifteen thousand. Was it 15? fifteen? Fifteen okay. or so, roughly. Yeah. So, so we, we increase our budget by fifteen. About. Yeah. Yep. We're also sending out. We seem to be sending out a lot of kids in school choice. We got one hundred thirty-six thousand in school choice. And, I know. We and take in a whole lot more, but yeah. Yeah. But I know. It's a Give or take, I'm going to say between a minimum of $5,000 per it student. Is. And if there's a special 
needs youngster, there's more. We don't have any of those, luckily. So what we're saying, if that's really the case, you've got 25, 26, 27 kids out. Yep. School choicing out. I do have those Is that numbers. the net, the 136, 840? Yeah. Yep. Where's, huh? That's net of school choice coming in? Correct. Oh. No, that's, mm -hmm. that's the actual expenditure. Um, the school choice that's coming in, we don't get. The school gets I it. Have um, that if you need, but it's, it goes it's into that one of the revolving, one of the special revenue funds that we have, um, and that was seven hundred eighty thousand. Mm -hmm. Was that a, what it was? Uh, so no, four hundred, four hundred eighty thousand. So right. that should be a nice, good number in the school budget. It, it is reducing the overall yeah. school budget. Right? Well, they use it does. The prior, it does. But they use it for. They use try to use the prior. Right. Yeah, they they use last year's money for this, this year. year's budget, but, but that's not. where it shows up. It does. Mm -hmm. Okay. And this year, I think they're into this year's number, right? Is that correct? No, no, no yeah. we're still in arrears, as Patty would call it. Yes. <laughs> well, it should be zero. In arrears, years, arrears. Arrears. Should be right. zero, and we should have all the new money coming in. Any that we had. You know, if we have money in 18, that should, all that money should go to 19. I think most of it, I mean, they do, at the end of the year, you know, one year we got tables for the cafeteria, I think. Was I know, but that's, that, that's got to change. That oh, whole yeah. process is going to change. Well, it probably will, because we're having less and less school choice, so we right. won't have any money. Um, no, I mean, but you have to develop a maintenance budget. Oh, tell me about it. Yes, absolutely. I mean, you can't be absolutely. using, hoping that you have money at the end of the year and you can buy tables. Of, tr of course, yeah, well, we'd love that's to. That's not been the way it's been for the past five or six years <coughs> anyway. That's been a, right, been a long and time. So it's going to be another frontier school coming up if we don't. Oh, there is, yeah, there's, you know, I walk through the bathrooms, they're really falling apart. They, they need some serious maintenance. Yeah. That, yeah, I mean, we, we are working on some of the doors, but I was over looking around the facility the other last week and there's there's some maintenance that needs to happen there we definitely you know i'd love that building committee to get together i'd love to have the, the the town do what Sun, town of sunderland did hired an architect evaluate all the buildings come up with a five-year plan i'd love with that two dollars mm -hmm. do you feel needs to do that asap i agree with that and all public town buildings mm -hmm. if we don't we're going to be we're going to be flying blind Time constantly. And you ball every year. And you're like, oh, we need a boiler. Well, we can't we do need it. this. We need that. I agree. It needs to happen. Any other questions on that? On the back page? About the revenue detail? Uh, yeah. There are a few things, things that I know of on here that make sense to me or that I know what they are. There are several others that, that I don't know that much about. Uh, the first one, the overlay surplus. Uh, I'll let Bruce and Brandon talk about overlay <coughs> surplus. If you, What is overlay surplus? So every year they set aside a certain amount of money that they deem to be either uncollectible or you know that they're going to reserve set aside for abatements and exemptions mm -hmm. and sometimes over the years you get to a point where you say okay all of those uh, tax receivables have been collected and we still have 50,000 sitting in overlay in abatements pop possible allowance for abatements and um, we did have some of that again this year where there was some excess um, that the assessors uh, determined to be excess. So they, so they lowered our allowance, which basically gave us another 100000 that we didn't have before to put towards the budget. Mm -hmm. I don't know, Bruce, you, you probably have a better way of explaining it, but... And, it's and it's it? pretty much what you said, except mm -hmm. it's, a, it's a, a based on a culmination of years. It's right. not just this past year. Correct. It goes, it yes. goes back until Five years or something uh, like they get permission from DOR to erase the debt. Mm -hmm. Right. And fortunately, the town clerk has done a tremendous job with uh, she has. minimizing she has. Uh, past due yes. 
a very good job. She does. Yes. Do, uh, Amazing. Count. So that's why a lot of this has been able to uh, uh, be released, be reduced, is because mm -hmm. most of those have been caught up. Yep. Or, or, or truly been, are uncollectible and been mm -hmm. written off. Or put into tax title. And so when she puts those into tax title, then then they're yep. gone out of the tax receivables, but the allowance is still sitting there. Right. Mm -hmm. And as well as now, they do have to, before it was required to keep separate years. So some of those years we had been there dated back 10 or 12 years. Right. And they had chunk change in there. But uh, part those of are the gone. Uh, so exciting. Mass Municipal, Municipal Act allow them to bunch them all into one pot now yes. so this so it's helped a lot with the record keeping and so forth and yep. given a truer picture of what is necessary and not necessary right exactly is that related to overlay on the front page yes yes yep. yeah so How every can... so every year they set aside a certain amount for that year's worth of <laughs> Of right. tax receivables that they think that they're going to either abate or exempt. So the hundred thousand is actually older. Ninety-nine times out of a hundred, that's the older uh, receivables that are gone, but you still have an allowance set off against them. Well, we're only allowing, if I can use that expression, sixty-two thousand mm -hmm. in eighteen and sixty thousand in nineteen. Mm -hmm. Yep. Yet we're showing we're going to collect more than we allowed for. Well, Is no. Is that because no. it goes way back to, to 2017? We owe a lot more money than that. Part, part, part of that is, is uh, if you looked at their account right now, you'd uh, well, let's see. Um, April. If you looked at their account right now, right now they have about 50% of that last year's levy uncollected. Come May 1st, Hopefully, the majority of, it, of that will balance out. But what happens is, as I said, you have this pot that goes back a whole bunch of years that covers uh, tax liability. And as those get paid off and or written off, that becomes part of the I surplus. Get I get that. that. But what I don't get is what we're showing on the second page, that we're getting this money that we had set aside. We're not aside, getting any money. Not, that we had set aside, well... Showing his revenue. They're showing his revenue, right? Yeah. It's, it's, we had, it's we had a set source aside, of funding. But I don't see where we're right. setting aside that much money. Correct. Right. Okay, it, because it um, goes back because it's a whole bunch of years prior, and as those years are settled, that is released from the overlay. The overlay is a, is an insurance policy against unpaid or uh, taxes or abatements, mm -hmm. senior abatements, CPA abatements, one thing or another. As those get settled then you no longer need that insurance, that part is released. I understand. So you have this big pot that's a lot it's more than $100,000. Where's well, the big in, pot it, held? Yeah, where's the, I don't see the pot on you. Where's the big pot? Well, it's on your balance sheet, which you don't see. Um, <laughs> but uh, one of the reasons that they, that they released the 100000 too is because there finally was a settlement on that Verizon mm -hmm. um, uh, ATB case uh, that goes back that went back so so years. that had been paid okay. so there was a, a zero that, balance yeah, in the tax receivable but that they had does, yeah okay that, that Verizon right, that makes that Verizon one was uh, was old when I was there right, yeah. okay. right. and and Bell I think I don't know if it's new with with uh, with the modernization bill but. I noticed last year when we filled out the OL1 for the recap <coughs> that it gave an average of what you actually abated and exempted over the last five years, and it was less than 60000 So I, mm -hmm. think, I think the assessors came to terms with that and said, okay, we, we, we probably don't need to set that, that much aside anymore. We, mm -hmm. we probably should set it, be setting aside less. Bump so down, that's why you're seeing only 62000 That's right. 60, okay. yeah. yep. All right. And that's why mm -hmm. I just plugged in a figure of 60000 for the coming year because I thought that All would right. be reasonable. I was looking at the relationship yep. between the two, you, and I have it. Thank you. Yep. You passed 630, Brenda. That's okay. It's no big deal. I don't have to go anywhere. Can I have a question? <laughs> okay. <laughs> you should have read it. Uh, Skims Enterprise Fund retained earnings in 18 was 71000 Huh? That, uh, How did that no, start? that was that was their capital projects that came out of retained earnings. That's, that's what that is. That's so it was a source of funding for capital projects. I don't know of any capital other than buying the ambulance, but the ambulance was. Um, 
Where was this? In, in, um, in fiscal 18, it was um, uh, just the um, IV pumps mm -hmm. and the lift stations. Yeah, clot loaders. Oh, right. Right. Clot loaders and three IV pumps. And they proposed nothing in this year. Right. Right. They, they proposed because the IV pumps, yeah. So we, they proposed nothing was approved this year. Is that yeah. correct? Yeah. Right. That's right. That's correct. Pardon? Nothing was approved this year. That's why it's zero this year. Right. Mm -hmm. Correct. Okay. All right. So they, okay. Just hard to think of it as a revenue. Oh, 71,000, right. What's, what's that, Bruce? I say it's hard to think of as, as a revenue, but it is an enterprise fund. Money moves, but it doesn't move. Right. <laughs> True. Any other questions? Now that we're all experts on uh, property taxes, local receipts, state and county uh, cherry sheet revenues. There's an opening. And the tickets <laughs> from Library <laughs> Trust. There you go. Don't forget that. <laughs> so the bottom line here is that uh, we're going to end up with about, carry over about $241,000. Actually, actually, carry over is about 318000 is that on, on, on free cash, you mean? Yeah. Yep. Mm -hmm. That's what Based just on the more. select board's numbers. That's correct. That's correct. That's based on, on if everything got approved according to the max that, that okay. was uh, requested. But I, didn't, I guess I don't understand this revenue sheet. On which revenue sheet? Which? Second page. So, so what, what are you uh, Free missing? cash is... I don't see a 318 anywhere. So if yeah, you look at the bottom, you see free cash. The bottom. Withheld. FY19. The amount withheld is 318,000. Oh, okay, I was looking at the differential. Oh, yep. Yep. Okay, so that increased from our last meeting. So that increased from our last meeting. Um, because last meeting. I so. oh, maybe. I think maybe it decreased a little. Oh, maybe it did. I don't well, remember. No, the, we, I think the 500000 was in there. That's the only, okay. and what we did was split it, but we didn't do anything to. We had 286 right last year. Oh, you know, you know what it was? Um, the, position. The, the position, the planner uh, position and the planner position expenses were withdrawn completely yeah, from okay. the budget request. That's why it increased the 300000 Yes, correct. Okay. Yeah. Uh, okay. So we actually could afford that position. Could not afford well, it. It isn't a question of being able to I know. afford it. I'm not, I'm today not picking tomorrow. that scab, Skip. <laughs> yes. You could, well, you, <laughs> yes, I am. You know what happens when you do that. <laughs> <laughs> you bleed, right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> All over the place. So yeah. at this point, I would like to quickly go back to this sheet here as the, the actual uh, local <laughs> receipts. We have yeah. we're getting sewers for the moment. Yeah. So we've got a subtotal, and you can see going across, it's gone from one point almost one point seven million to two point four million in actual receipts. FY ten through FY seventeen. <coughs> I don't know if we have FY10 on. Do we have FY10 on here? No. The estimated receipts. Um, Do we have estimated receipts for FY10 anywhere? Um, I, no. I, I don't know. Do does it. my uh, does my detail show? Yours? No, I don't think mine went back no, quite that far. No. It was almost. I think it went down to 2013. Actually, we do FY17. Or FY16. If you look at FY16. No, you went oh, that's what you're looking, looking at. Oh, yeah. The revenue detail sheet, oh, and sorry. then the this one here has the actual figures, the real figures that came out November after the budget was put together. <coughs> right. Which is actually FY16 numbers. Yeah. So if we look at the if we look at the FY16 estimates, we estimated for FY16 1.454 million dollars. Mm -hmm. The actual number that we got was 1.88 million, so $400,000 more. Mm -hmm. FY17, 
And again, the big one is that $566,000 figure. We estimated 1.6 million and we received 2.4 million. Was that? Um, um, so I can't find the two point. That is free cash. Yeah. That's the, that's those are the we're things where it, it, it comes in. So I just yep. wanted to point those out. 17 from, you know, was what you're saying is 2.35. 375 minus 1.44, yeah. that was free cash. Right, or 2.40. Right. Yeah. And that's all, that all ended up being in the general fund is free cash. And if anyone knows how we could have estimated the $566,000. Uh, <clears throat> ear to the ground. All right, I think I've had, I've said about all, so, maybe one other thing. So we're, you're thinking we, if, we, if we have a good year, we're going to estimate $500,000 more for next this coming year. Is, it, is this I, where we're going with this? No. No, mm -hmm. definitely no. Well, not. No, I, but I think you're going to have an ear to the ground. In all likelihood, it's true. But what happens if you look at, if you go back and you look at some of these figures, you see local receipts. Yep. They go this way. Yeah, mm -hmm. right. But to, to, to do that, there's there. So new there highs, was, new lows. Yeah, right. yeah. So you may have last year eight hundred thousand bucks that got thrown into it, and next year you may have only hundred thousand dollars that gets tossed into it. You just don't know. Right. So it's we nice had this to get discussion through. last meeting where if we had. I think we're talking about three, 285 or 286. Mm -hmm. If we estimated that we would end up with another five or 600,000, we'd end up with eight or $900,000 in free cash. The problem is that we're spending over that in, to budget, balance the budget this year. We're spending over about a million dollars. Well, one of the things uh, that I, one, I, yeah, one million dollars. Well, one of the things that I was going to point out, if you look at the one point five million that we're spending, five hundred thousand dollars of that is going into no, no, stabilization. I understand. Right. It brings us down to the million. Mark. Million dollars. But what, what I'm saying is, if we only if we only going to get by our best guess, our best case <coughs> scenario, six hundred plus the three, there's only nine. So you wouldn't we're, spend the money on the capital projects. No, no I, I don't think I, some of I it. Think I you a, might you might use stabilization instead. We, I think we do have a problem, but I don't think it's this is this magnifies the problem. What appears to be the problem. Understood. Uh, in addition to in addition to this, the, the five hundred thousand that went into the capital, give or take four five hundred thousand dollars, is what we're using free cash for to cover the estimated local receipts versus the actual local receipts because that yep. fluctuates so that may last year it, it gave us 800,000 another year it might only give us 200,000 so we, we need to protect cover our butts so that's why we have a stabilization fund well we could use stabilization funds but we try not to use stabilization yeah, but if you, if you look at 217 scratch out 217 and look at the rest you really it really does not fluctuate that much. It's this 217 that just, you know, took off right right through the roof. But uh, the rest of them, uh, for the most part, are been upwards, upwards, an upward trend, but not dramatically. Like 17. Well, five hundred thousand. If you want to look down at the bottom, three five. Where's the estimate? Well, in 2017, you had those two. Um, Funds that had been closed, so those were brought into local receipts. Right. Yep. If yep. you want to look down at the very bottom of this page, yep. you'll see that where it says A, B. Is what mm -hmm. we used. A oh, is linear equation. A is what would amount to, average is not the right word, but essentially it's an average increase, annual increase in mm -hmm. the total of that. <clears throat> okay. Give or take. 
So it's a hundred thousand dollars, rough, roughly a hundred thousand dollar increase. Average increase yeah. over the ten year, <laughs> seven year period. Again, it's not average, but it's, it's a median. No. It's the number. <coughs> it's the slope of the line. If you okay. want to know what it Mid is. Midpoint on the slope of the line? No, it's the slope. If we if you have a line, yeah. right? All right. The slope, the change on an annual basis is ninety five thousand dollars on that so called best fit line. Okay, gotcha. How many other Six, how many pitch. other people know what best fit is? The only reason I know what best fit is that I had to teach it, so I had to go learn it when I went it, back to teach. It looks like a roof pitch to me. It is six, a roof six, pitch. Six, that's what I do in his warehouse. Pitch. <laughs> that's it. Yeah. And, that's, and that's what I did with my algebra class. Take it over to the window and said, look at that roof over there. See that slant? It's called a pitch. And it's a, right. and you figure it by a squared plus b squared equals c squared, too. Yeah. <laughs> so, and then if you go back, the calculations I used for these years were 10, 11, 12, as opposed to okay. 2010. The other number... If this thing were precise, the other number, the 500,000 or 600,000, 560,000, that should be uh, the totals for the year 2000 here. Because <coughs> that's the zero year. And that's what that is. Okay. Now, it's not going to be there. I get to suspect that that's going to be more like eight, nine 900,000. But that's, you know, that's what the, that, uh, the calculator did for you. Blame it on the calculator. Yep. Yeah. Yep. That's because they do graphs. It is. It's if you graph this, that that is the so-called y-intercept. Yep. How many of you know what a y-intercept is? I used to. I remember the point is this, is, this time. Is, this, is, is this an oral quiz? <laughs> right. There'll be a test it's, it's, after it's this. Like the Roof terminology, the rise run <laughs> ratio. Right. Rise, well, rise run ratio, I that's, that's the, more uh, of that's the training, point. I'll tell you that. Right. Uh -huh. <laughs> So we need to continue this class uh, next yeah. week. Yeah. Yeah. Next week. So, so Trevor's I'm getting bored with so me. No, I'm so saying I mean, we need to do this more often. It's helpful to get your head around it. We have less free cash than we had last year. Yeah, yes. but we're going to have yes. stabilization money. We're going to have 500000 so You can call it free cash and call it stabilization Which money. Which we put in You can put it either place. Well, $450,000 in capital stabilization. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But, yes. But when you look at the 2020 requests from the highway department more than five hundred thousand mm. dollars for capital. Yep. And that was what highway and is that including the library? Library. Library. Just if you just Basically include the agreement. plans, it's a library. Right. Just just the design plan. Just the design plan, which I don't think right, nothing. There's, that was just for the design, right? But then there's a trans uh, six hundred and thirty three thousand or something there. like that. Mm -hmm. So yeah, you can't bring it back to zero. Right. Well, one way or the other, those whether it's the library or the schools, mm -hmm. both uh, both frontier and the elementary school, if they have substantial requirements for capital expenditures. As, a, as opposed to operating budget. I mean, you can right. do it for operating budget too, but it doesn't, wouldn't make sense. Uh, then we're going to have to look at debt exclusions for all of those. Right. It's still going to go on the tax rate. Right? right. But it goes on the tax rate right. for a limited period of time. And I don't think, I remember. I got a limited period of time. <laughs> well, <laughs> <laughs> but do you remember the years? budget yeah. meeting, or bu not budget 90? meeting, the town oh. meeting that we held in January of, I was 15 or 16 when we were talking about the school roof. Mm -hmm. And uh, the recommendation was that we change the, the, uh, the wording in the article to add the need for debt exclusion. And I would have thought, I thought that the school committee was, was going to have heart attacks. I mean, I'm not sure where the school committee... Where did they expect the money to come from? That's a good question. Yeah. Mm -hmm. they, they, I don't think they understand. They probably don't. So, I mean, or I don't want to assume that, but I mean... the school committee, kind of, the school administration as well. Yeah. So I think that's a Or discussion. education yeah. needs to happen. These kind of nights with them would be really helpful, I think, for average school committee member to understand what we just went over tonight is really, 
really helpful. So they have it. You know, I, it's not I an unlimited. <clears throat> it gets it gets a little. What's the word I want to use? I'm not sure, but uh, it, fairly complex. <clears throat> A couple of times and people will get it, I think. Take them two years. I'm done. Okay. Right. <coughs> it's taken a little while. But oh, it's good. I'll tell you what, I served in the school committee for a total of 25 years with a nine, eight or nine years off in between. Yep. And I guess I didn't quite, I didn't, as much as I knew about budgeting two and a half, mm -hmm. uh, none of this, most of the stuff, I didn't have any idea what it was. Well, well I, I think the, the, the issue is that the school committees are presented a budget. They have no real input into it. That's it's hard to say that they haven't. Fairly accurate, yeah. The, these are numbers, and if we play with them this these way, this way, this way, this way, that's how it comes out. Generally, yeah, positions, that kind of thing. But um, So you, if you want to, what, what do you want to keep it at? Two and a half, two right, point right. three, two point nine. That's we'll pretty make much. It work. So that you've you've got those. You also have the situation that uh, that Bruce brought up of of depreciation, mm -hmm. where you have hundred thousand dollars in in assets that you're charging a tax on, and next year those assets are only worth eighty thousand dollars. Right. But the dollars that you got in taxes from them next year are yes. going to go up two and a half percent. Right. That taxes right. on a hundred thousand dollars in assets right. that are only so worth it's, eighty. It's, it's yeah. as if you were going to get two and a half percent more of, of, of one hundred and two thousand five hundred, right. and it didn't. It dropped eighty thousand. Right. The year after, it's going to get down to sixty thousand. Right. That revenue that's coming and in. And so yep. that difference in revenue is made up by all of us. All of us together. By the rate. Mm-hmm. And, and, it, and it's on the rate. So the rate does the rate, in theory, the rate should never change. doesn't need to change. It should stay the same. $10, well, $15, whatever it is. Well, as I said, part of the other thing is, is your, uh, is your uh, commercial and industrial value <coughs> are based on uh, expenses. Mm -hmm. So therefore, you raise your expenses via taxes or one thing or another, sewer or whatever. It, it drops their value on the commercial industrial. And where does that value go? You're still getting the same dollar. Right. It comes back over to the residential sector. Right. So it's a, it's a, it's a nasty circle. It's how, do, how do we get the growth? How do, we, how do we gain growth in this town? You know, is it, is it bringing in more businesses, obviously well, building off, more yeah. houses? First off, you have to have space. Right? I know. That's the hard part. You know, there's I mean, not, I mean, just downtown, I think there's four or five empty storefronts. That's it. Yeah, I mean, but, but, he, but even, that's uh, peanuts. Not just a, nothing. Not just, yeah, that's peanuts nothing. is right. Not just yeah. a store, uh, storefronts, but uh, open land, land too, right. to be able to uh, right. build. You right. have very little. It's exactly. True. That's that's one of the major well, problems that we is. have right now is and when you take a look at what's actually buildable. Right. It's right. true. You're very limited. Well, you the look at Long not Meadow. that many right. options out there. With well, the uh, farming well, community, you restrict right. all the farmland, and yeah. most of that is the open space. Right. Yep. And the, the open normal. space. And we're losing. On new 5 and 10. Yeah. And we're losing be, because there's property coming off the tax rolls because it's being Correct. Yep. Correct. purchased by Absolutely. others. You look at, like, Long Meadow, they're, you know, the only way to build down there is to tear down a house that was built in the 50s, and they do that all the time. They take down a house and you will buy it for four or five. Wilmington Mass does the same thing. What's, What's that? that? House? Wilmington Mass, you Wilmington. buy a house for $200,000, yeah. you tear it down, you build a $600,000 house. Yep. Wow. And, and the person that lived in that house moves to some other town because they yeah. can't afford to live there. That's right. true. I mean, that's one of the real concerns that I have here. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And that's a concern, I mean, everywhere. I mean, the look school, at any. High school students who are going to graduate right. in the next few years, go off to college and come back. They're not they come here. back to it. There's nothing for them to come back to. And they no, wouldn't be able to afford make it. That they afford couldn't it. afford it if they did, no. but there aren't jobs here as well. So, you know, I think that's one of the things that we do have to look at. Is, is Regionally, we have to look at that, bringing uh, jobs in, because it, obviously they can't all house in Deerfield. So w on what space <laughs> It's the problem? 
You know. I'll go find space for it. All right. This, this you space. find me space. We'll find businesses. It's Anything dope. else? Can we adjourn? Yeah, now I have a question. We talked last... We can't adjourn. Can adjourn. <laughs> no, I, I think we gotta just look. Yeah, at I the do have a question line. because I had it in a minute and I forgot to bring it up. We discussed um, a pre-town meeting um, Thank presentation. You. Thank mm -hmm. you, Brenda. We Thank never. You. I don't know if we established a date. I a time. I, I think there was Wednesday the twenty fifth. Yeah, at the select board I, meeting, I seven o'clock. I think it was a, the hour prior to. I think it's the seven. Board? I think it was, it was uh, seven, 6 right? o'clock, the select that's board, and then 6.30, the public. Oh, thank you. Yeah. I believe. It was like a half hour to get well, some business done. That's what I thought. Then, yeah. Too. I wasn't that's sure. right. So that's that's the, the, 20, 20, the 25th. 25th. And who's yeah, making what, all of what time? bar charts? I, 6 o'clock, the select Karen, board. Uh, Carolyn has been six thirty. to come over and talk to me about what she wants to see. Um, okay. I did, I did a quick little, what we'd have at town meeting, I kind of... We <coughs> down for uh, a reporter today, okay. and I thought, well, maybe that's what we present mm -hmm. at that meeting. Here's what the select board approved. Here's what the finance committee recommends. Here's between the omnibus budget and the <coughs> Right. So okay. I suggested to Wendy that maybe that would be something we hand out at the meeting, and she said that we'd, we'd talk. So. Okay. All right. Great. Thank you. Yeah. I don't know what else <coughs> is intended or what Carolyn's intending to go over, but. That pie chart you made before. Yeah, she wants me to change that pie chart I realize to that. include the other costs so for the school. But right. Some of those costs are not so, really very determinable. Um, um, only yeah. the health care, I think. Only the health care, really. And, right. and I can't seem to figure out how to get it into that graph. Okay. I, I've, I've worked on that over the last few days, but hmm. um, I'll continue. I can bring my granddaughter in. Seven years old. She yeah, she could probably do that. <laughs> to paint it. You let what, put the lines in, and she'll paint it. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds good. <laughs> Next meeting. Right. Thank you. Thanks. Next I don't. Thank you. I don't. I would like to cover the bottom line. Okay. <coughs> if that's okay. Sure. Yep. I I think we just need to to be aware that what's being presented is higher than. Is less than what the well, higher or less was it? It's different than the finance committee. It's, uh, and so, what's going to happen high. because of that? I just think we should look at before we walk out. So we're we're talking about the uh, this sheet here, budget summary. The budget, this one here. Okay. This one or this one, Jim? Well. This one. Which one? I guess this one here that has the budget summary. Just yeah, because our number, they, you need both. Okay. The expense detail. Um, I guess, well, I guess I, I back up. I stand corrected. The, what's being requested is a higher number than what we have. Yes. Yeah. So it's all to the good anyway. Yes, yeah. yeah, so it's all to the good. If it's our number. Right. Yes. Then we can the question, adjourn. Yeah, and we can talk about next week how we attack those couple of items. There's only two. <clears throat> Three, four, I think. There's there's two. Two? There's OPEB, right? Yeah, and health. And uh, there's health, uh, health and department board expenses. Board of health expenses. I believe those are the only two. And the grand total difference is... Uh, Let's see. What's 13, five 13, plus 25, five and the OPEB is, is uh, 38, okay. 778. 38, 778. Yep. But we also got, we're going to have to look at snow and ice over. And we do too. need snow and ice. Yep. Too. And right now, uh, the snow and ice figure is set at 68, 916. There's no recommendation for, for us. So that's. So that's that's a big number too. So add that into that thirty-eight because we're not showing anything. Well, uh, and no, on the snow and ice, there, there's no you, recommendation from the finance committee. Yeah, time. but the no, only, but two budget items that we differ about thirty-eight. That yeah. goes the other right. way, though. Yeah, that's going to go. That goes the, whole, the other both, direction. We're, we're going to. It's going to be the same number both sides. 
It's like board and finance, right? I would it's assume so. Uh, I mean, I, I don't see why there would be yeah. a difference. And hopefully it'll just rain. I mean, if, if Kevin comes in and says he wants, you know, 150000 and the, the, the selectman says, go ahead, that sounds good to us. I don't think the finance committee is likely to right. find that such a good deal. But right. I think it's... It, unless it snows, I think that's where it stays. 68. 68. Yeah. I believe. Uh, and, and that's... And well, he's got the, he's got the snowstorm yesterday. <coughs> that, that, and that, that includes the plowing for I yesterday? That that, and yeah. For yesterday? Salt. Yes. So. Yeah, that yeah. 68 does. Yeah. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah I, I had to put it. some figures in there for that. So. Oh, got to get it that quickly, huh? Well, I we, guess so. You want to get paid that Yeah, they do. <laughs> when it gets this late <laughs> in the season, they must. <laughs> uh, yeah. <laughs> if that's your only income, you need to get paid. <laughs> Anything else? I'll make a motion we adjourn. Second. Move, Third. Seconded. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. We're adjourned. Aye. Thanks, guys.